Hey, thanks for joining us, folks. Look at you, Art. You uh, look a little peaked. You okay? Well, I guess I've gone from pale to a little paler. Uh, I, but I also <laughs> went from Novid to COVID. Go figure. Ah, oh, so you, you like me, you hadn't gotten COVID. You were mm. clean I was and a, uh, healthy. And, and I found out the term Novid from my wife who got COVID. Also, yeah. her first, and we we've traveled on a uh, we went to the southwest on a, a ten day excursion in the middle of COVID. We drove and we ate in the car and we went to all the yeah. out yeah. And, and nothing. And we've had all the shots, and uh, I guess the and new, here it is two years later, and and I guess and you get COVID. The new variant bit us in the butt. Uh, wow! And Linda had a much worse case than I did. Uh, uh, she's she, she's been down with it. Uh, well, she's almost at the end of it now, as as I am as well. I suspect, uh, and I've had a very mild case. But I guess the point point of it is that first of all, I'm glad I've had all of the shots up to this point, because right. I probably had a milder case I, than I other would. I never had respiratory issues. Nor did Linda. She sneezed a lot. I sneezed a little bit. So I had a very mild case. Uh, but we did the self test at home and. Uh, and we got COVID, and yeah. we, uh, we'll be taking another test in about two days. I think we're probably just at the point where we're nearly done with it, but um, it, it was like a bad cold. Yeah, and so this is a warning to everybody that COVID's a real thing. There is a variant out there. You could be getting the variant. You could be getting the original. We have no way of knowing, do right. you? Uh, no, but you know, um, really, got my um, if I was going to be guessing, although there's no way to tell, there's no particular test for it. I guess the CDC has a test. Uh, yeah, is that it's probably the new variant. Uh, I I've been out and about. We've seen each other a lot as well, uh, right? Uh, without any issues. So my guess it's the new one. I go to the gym as you know virtually every day, and uh, what did I pick it up there? Did I? Uh, Linda went out to her knitting groups and a few other things that she does. So she may have picked something up there. She went to a concert. Right. We've both been to concerts uh, in the yeah. last year without being overly concerned. So it's just sort of the luck of the draw. And I, my guess is that it's, uh, fortunately, if you're going to get it and it's going to be mild because you've had enough of the boosting in your system to begin with, then yeah. it's going to be like the flu. Flu. And, you know, if you don't get your flu, even if you get your flu shot regularly, every so often there's a new variant and you're going to get sick for a week. But hopefully yeah. not as sick as you would get without uh, the precautions. So anyway, right. I am now officially a, not a Novid, I'm a COVID. <laughs> now, I'm curious because I think there's a lesson here for the rest of us. Uh, here it is two, go, two years later and... Uh, COVID's still around, and maybe there's this variant hitting us. Those of us who haven't had it, um, if you're over 65, you're still in the high-risk group. It means that you, it could affect you very um, extremely. Yes. But Linda, Linda just got a flu-like symptom. She didn't have any major problems, no, no needing to go to the hospital. No. Okay, but you, uh, that's what we have to be cautious of, you know. Uh, and also because uh, she she suspects that she didn't know until the magic period was over that she didn't get this pack fluid or this pack slovid or whatever. That is because she right. was beyond the point where she would have qualified for it. And I've never got to that point where I felt yeah. respiratory distress at all. So we're and I think that. that's that's another, yeah, and that's another lesson is that it can affect all of us differently, even in the same family. Right. You know, and and I'm sure you don't know whether she got it and gave it to you, you got it, gave it to her. Right. Um, the fact that you both reacted differently to it is based on your own individual immune systems, not right. based on, you know, the, the, the strain or however you got it, you know, so... Well, I think we all have to be cautious as you get older. You know, we're more susceptible to different things than we were when we were younger. And uh, particularly if your immune system's compromised, if you're a diabetic or you've got an immune problem, you know, we all have to be careful. So right. that's the, the a only caution. Thing, the, the, the last 
bit of advice I would give you, though, is that uh, if you're old enough, uh, uh, get, get yourself some uh, tests and keep them in the house. Okay, right. that's what we did. We got them from Medicare. We got them through the mailings and what have you. We get them under Medicare. Uh, yeah. But keep them in the house. And if you're feeling ill, uh, do the test. Do the test. See if it's COVID. Because you it may turn into something serious and you need to, need to know that. And also you want to be able to stay away from other people. I, I went out uh, even up until about a day or two ago wearing a mask. Because I, I go to the gym like early in the morning. I'm the only one in the gym to begin with. But I wore a mask to protect other people. But then I just, you know, finally said, you know what? I don't even want to do that. Because uh, you just, right. you know, I touch something, somebody else touches it, what have you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it'll be another couple of days I'll be in the house. Yeah. Yeah, it can't hurt. Got to isolate yourself. All right. Well, good. Uh, Art, thanks for sharing because uh, we all need this cautionary tale. Uh, to proceed in today's environment. Yeah, and you know what? It's going to go on for years, probably. So we're going to live with it. And But the point is, we're going to live with it. So yeah. get your boosters, get your whatever you need to do, stay healthy. And if you don't feel well, test. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.